This is a follow-up to my episode on the looming AI triggered art school meltdown. It's linked here. AI will trigger a massive devaluation in one of the primary strategies of contemporary painters. In supply-side economics, when a good is overproduced, the market may become flooded with excess supply, which can lead to a decrease in prices. Overproduction can lead to a collapse in the value of an item. One of the primary methods contemporary artists use to construct imagery, one of their primary mechanics may be on the verge of value collapse. Stocks tumbled yesterday after his comments that AI tools like Midjourney will necessarily change image making. One of the immediate effects may be to devalue images that exist within the uncanny value, to devalue imagery that seems to have been dredged from the subconscious. The uncanny in art is a concept associated with psychologist Sigmund Freud, which describes a strange and anxious feeling sometimes created by familiar objects in unfamiliar contexts. Let's take a quick look at contemporary art issues, six emerging figurative painters you need to know. The very first images we see are paintings by Guillaume Brisson. For the sake of this conversation, we need to simplify one of the major strategies of contemporary artists. Now in cognitive expressionism, in the aesthetic philosophy of cognitive expressionism, we see a piece of art. Although we're looking at a picture, we're really looking at a kind of mathematical problem, a kind of puzzle or formula. Now in successful work from this perspective, the work of art is activated. It comes alive in the mind of the viewer. The viewer, the viewer looks at the work and attempts to work out to solve the formula. So while we're looking at this, even if the viewer does not know it, what they are really seeing is something more akin to this. Successful art is not resolved art. Judge the success of a work of this kind by paying attention to our thought processes when trying to resolve or work out the formula. What was the content and character of our thinking in the presence of the work? I'd say that when you are looking at these Guillaume Brisson paintings, even if you don't know that you're doing this, that there is a mental process of figuring at play. So how does AI, mid-journey, and stable diffusion, et cetera, impact this? Let's look at these images I created in mid-journey of my beloved American bulldog, Moo. The prompt to create these images was create an image of a strong and powerful American bulldog with a white head and a fawn body, wearing an orange life vest, jumping off a dock into a beautiful lake in Northern Michigan. These images to me are striking in that they are almost a literal depiction of Mui and our life in Michigan. But yet something is so wrong about these images. They exist within the uncanny valley. Do dogs have seven toes? So what kind of infernal beast has this image generation created? AI instantaneously produces extremely compelling imagery that is naturally uncanny. For the layman, we might use a less precise term, it creates surreal imagery. Now the problem for the contemporary painter existing in this milieu, the problem for the contemporary painter who exists in the milieu of creating imagery like this, of which there are millions, is that at this point, nearly all imagery produced by AI trucks in the language that until this moment was the sole domain of the artist. Imagery that seems to be dredged from the subconscious, otherworldly, uncanny imagery. Instantly, we now have an overproduction of this kind of imagery. Mid-journey acts on prompts in 30 seconds. Now, I've heard many contemporary artist friends talk about how they are using these tools to help in the image creation phase, prior to painting as an example, or in the sketch phase. In my opinion, this is short-sighted and a big mistake. Situating your work in a milieu that just experienced a massive and exponential explosion of production is not wise. Artists like Salvador Dali created imagery in response to the emerging ideas of Sigmund Freud. Dali's work is responding to the ideas of his time. Psychoanalysis, dream work, the uncanny, and the subconscious were ideas that informed Dali's approach to the construction of an image. This is what artists do. They respond to the ideas of their time. Repainting images created by Midjourney and its ilk is foolhardy, but maybe more importantly, the deep structure of many contemporary image makers needs a rethink in the face of artificial intelligence supply side economics. These tools produce an absolute unstoppable shitstorm, an infinite shitstorm of uncanny imagery that will necessarily 
devalue in the most profound way imagery that seems dredged from the subconscious. Hey, if you're in Detroit this Saturday night, swing by Wasserman Projects for the Family Matters opening uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, it's an Earl's Family collaboration. It's me, Henry, and Harris. Uh, and let's take a super quick look at the end of this video at the aftermath of preparing for that show in my studio. In the final crunch to get everything done, cleaning and organizing went out the window. That is a big mistake. This is not the way that I want my studio to look. And I'll spend all Sunday getting it back in shape. So till next time, 